Yeah, this is a lot of books. <laughs> guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Marjolyn and in today's video we're getting rid of a lot of books a few weekends ago I actually went through all of my books as I was looking at them there were so many books that I had no interest in reading I just I wanted a little cleanse so I ended up cleaning my shelves I want to say I got rid of like maybe one fourth of my entire book collection these books i'm actually getting rid of but i do plan on trading them in and then the other half of the books that i wanted to donate which were in another big box i ended up taking to goodwill already and i didn't film without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into the video so i'm gonna be getting rid of shades of earth by beth revis Revis? I'm getting rid of Shades of Earth just because this is book three in the Across the Universe trilogy. I found this at Dollar Tree back when it was still a dollar and I thought oh my gosh this is a great find. I'll read books one and two and I'll be able to say I got the third one for only a dollar. I never got books one and two. I have no interest in reading books one or two so I'm just gonna be getting rid of this one. I love her, don't get me wrong. I love Miley Cyrus. This was probably one of the first books that I read. I remember what grade I was in when I got this book. I was in fourth grade. So this actually holds a lot of sentimental meaning to me, but I read it once when I was in fourth grade and I have no interest in reading it again. Like I said, I love her, but we are moving on to other things. In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I hope that's how you say the last name. I actually read this book recently. I gave it like, three stars out of five. It wasn't a bad book, it just wasn't a great book. And I'm a big thrillers girl. Nothing in this book surprised me, to be honest. Spy Hole Secrets by Zilpha Keatley Snyder. Yeah, I have no interest in reading this book. It's like a young adult book, and I think it's of a girl that starts peeping the neighbors next door or something like that, like strange stuff starts happening. I don't really have interest in reading it, I'm sorry. The next book I'm getting rid of is The Amanda Project by Amanda Valentino and Melissa Cantor. I was going to read this actually a few days ago. I tried to read this a few days ago, but I got a few pages in and out of curiosity, I looked it up on Goodreads. The ratings weren't that high and that's not what turns me off because I feel like some of my favorite books don't even have ratings that high. But there's like eight books and it's like an interactive book and I just wanted a quick read. Like, I'm so sorry. I did not feel like getting immersed into this world. So I'm just gonna be getting rid of this one. The next book I'm getting rid of is Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate. This is a fallen novel. I read, I think, books one and two back when I was in middle school. I do not remember a single thing of what goes on in these books. I don't even think I liked them that much. This was also a Dollar Tree find, but I'm gonna be trading it in because I have no interest in reading this, unfortunately. The next book or books that I will be getting rid of is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, Yancey? And The Infinite Sea. This is book one, this is book two. I never got to book three. I really liked book one. I think I read book two. I lost interest in these books a long time ago. So unfortunately, I will not be continuing with the series. And therefore, there is no reason for me to hang on to the books. So I will be passing them on to someone else. Little Bee by Chris Cleave, I think that's how you say it. I started reading it and I could not for the life of me get into it. I want to say I got like a good like 20, 30 pages in and I was like, no. The next book I'm going to be getting rid of is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I'm so sorry. English is not my first language, but it's the language that I speak the best and I still can't pronounce a lot of things. Yeah. My sister, I think, gave me this book because I think she had to read it for school once and I think she gave it to me because she just assumed that at some point I was going to have to read it for school, but safe to say I'm not in school anymore and I never read it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. The next book I'm going to be getting rid of is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Don't come at me. I have the trilogy like right here. My oldest sister actually ended up buying the trilogy and then after she read it, she gave it to me. I'm just gonna hang on to the trilogy and I will pass this one to someone else. This is a great book and if you haven't read it at this point, I'm gonna be getting rid of Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. I read this series a long time ago. I don't remember much of it. I don't think I'm gonna be reading it again. I'm also going to be getting rid of The May Queen Murders by Sarah Jude. I read this book a few months ago, 
didn't hate it, but I didn't like it enough to want to keep it, reread it. Cover's okay looking, got her at Dollar Tree as well, but meh. The next book I'm going to be getting rid of is Hexed by Michelle Chris? Chris? I don't know, I think it's Chris, but I'm not sure. I picked this up again at Dollar Tree. I'm seeing a pattern here. I don't know if you guys are seeing a pattern, but I'm seeing a pattern. I picked this up at Dollar Tree thinking I was gonna read it. The cover, it's not that bad. I'm not gonna read this book. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not in a witchy mood right now. I don't think I will be. And if I am, this is not the book that I'm gonna pick up. So I am just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> the Maze Runner by James Dashner. I loved this book and I loved the movie. The way that they escaped the maze is so different in the book than in the way it's done in the movie. And I think that pissed me off because I think that was a very important like, I only have the first book. The two, the second and the third book, which is The Scorched Trials and The Death Cure, I read those in my phone back in high school. I like them. I'm not gonna buy the second or the third book. I have no interest in reading this book, so I'm just gonna pass it along to someone else. The next book I'm going to be getting rid of is Killing Kennedy by Bill O'Reilly. Oh, sorry, I completely disregarded it. It's Bill O'Reilly and Martin Dugard. I bought this for a class when I was in high school. I actually really enjoyed this when I was in high school, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna read it again. The next book I'm going to be getting rid of is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I'm so sorry for anyone who enjoyed this book, but I cannot begin to describe how much I hated this book. I think I gave it two stars and I was being nice. She pissed me off. The line, the manipulation pissed me off. Miscommunication. I mm. next book I'm getting rid of is The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. I also read this a long time ago. It was an okay book. Like I said, nothing too bad, nothing too good. So I'm just gonna be passing it along to someone else. Next book I'm gonna be getting rid of <laughs> the One Direction book. I used to really like One Direction <laughs> when I was in middle school and high school, and honestly, I still listen to a lot of their music now. Yeah. Next book I am getting rid of is American Sniper by Chris Kyle. There's like three authors in this, but this is an autobiography. I'm also going to be getting rid of Touching Spare Bear by Ben Mikkelsen. I have no interest in reading it. I don't think I will in the future. I oh, there's a Hello Kitty. <gasps> there's a Hello Kitty bookmark in here. Oh my gosh. And last but not least, I am going to be getting rid of Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. This is traumatizing. All right, woo, let's put these away. 22 books later and we are all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys hopefully in my next video. Bye.